A, what are you going to do? Divorce hmm? him? Or I, what are you going to do? Realistically, I'm asking you, you an old, I'm asking, no, hold on. I really want to, I want to know. What are you going to do? That's well, your husband. I He's think, like, hey, babe. I think one of the things about marriage that's really beautiful is I know what my, my husband, before we got married, I think I, I know who but he is. But things change and maybe he wants to start exploring. He wants yeah. to start doing what? Uh, so exploring. say, he wants so he rim. wants to start exploring and he's like, oh my gosh, maybe I do want you to like eat, eat my, what? I kind of, and I kind of, I kind of want from you because you're my wife and you're so beautiful and hot and we're married and we have kids together and I'm, and I'm feeling a little bit kinky and I, with you, since we have this special marriage and bond, uh. how would you feel if we could just try this out just this one time, babe, please? I think it would probably indicate to me that my husband was involved in some perverse world, whether it was through pornography, that something else was okay. happening on the side, because these aren't normal things that people just think of okay. when they wake up. So like, what's hey, your next I'd move? really like a strap on dildo. Okay, right. Well, so what's also, your next move? Uh, what's the ultimatum? He's going to divorce me if I Wait. don't. So what's the next move? Crazy. Uh, I would think that that individual would probably need therapy and not the kind that you give. Okay. Hmm. And but but you're gonna stay with you don't this you don't immediately divorce. Okay. Marriage is you're about working through issues and working through problems. Okay. You don't immediately right. divorce them. And this gets back to what she was saying about because if your husband if suddenly a woman doesn't want to have sex, which would be another huge issue in a relationship. I would hope that my husband wouldn't instantly divorce me. But I would hope that they would. Well, take some guys the are terrified of that, and some guys don't even feel like they can open up to their wives about that. S about that sounds stuff. like they need therapy. They need therapy. Yeah, I you know. gotta work on your marriage. But the thing is, is that they'll come to us talking to us about that you know what i mean so it's just like and i think I that know. that's think unhealthy and i yeah. think that you know the fact that sex workers exist as this what you believe to be a solution when in fact that's a detriment because you're getting in the way of the wife and the husband being able to communicate um and so i would much rather my husband go if there was an issue and your wife's not having sex i'd rather him go talk to a priest i'd rather him go talk to another male when males sit down and talk about hey man you should talk to her about okay, this but let's i'd rather him what no, man nowadays let me finish my statement that. i'd rather him what do you mean bros talking to each other about things that's a normal i'd, I'd rather if sex, i have an it's issue of my pretty it's pretty normal <laughs> i'd rather go talk to my sisters about things that are going on no, in my I marriage said, there's man? a lot of steps you can take before you talk to a prostitute about your marriage i just I, maybe i'm crazy maybe i live in such a crazy uh, well, i'm place, saying what man is willing I don't know, to do I that turn on a tape turn on a taylor swift a song of those on cry a little bit in my room saying. i don't know there's a lot i would turn to Wild taylor swift before i would go to a prostitute to, about well, my marriage and i know but you're not a male so no, i'm just saying like, men can talk where? to other what are you talking about there's all of these podcasts of men talking you know talking to men and, and being inspirational and talking about porn addiction and talking about the things that are, are, are corrupting men's minds that's out there okay and, and those are that. those are I would r much rather my husband listen to those men right. and look for guidance whether it's in the church I whether it's you. on a podcast whether it's a spiritual leader than to turn to a prostitute in a brothel I hear you so there's a lot of steps that you can take from we're having an issue in our marriage to my husband's at a brothel laying next to a prostitute talking about yeah, issues. Okay. I, I think actually, let me let me just step in really quick. Uh, I do think uh, really quick. Uh, statistically, married men are actually the highest number of clientele for prostitutes. Yes, and that's why I'm saying, please listen for me. I'm literally telling you guys, males come to us and say all this stuff, which is like they're first scared of you guys because how you might react. Two. They feel like they can't be honest and open with you guys. That's why they result in coming to places yeah, like that. Just so you guys know, that statistic doesn't mean that the majority of married men go to prostitutes. So I didn't, didn't say that. No, I know. I'm just letting her know because she said, like, yes, like it was if it was a debunk. No, and I think no, what no, he's no, saying no, is no. that the majority oh, of married nice. men don't yeah. turn I'm just saying, yeah. like, to prostitutes. A lot, so there might be a small contingent and they might be majority right? married. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I get that. Okay. I think